Men's Golf just wrapped up the Whiting and Turner Towson Invitational. I'm here with Coach Brian Yaniger. Coach, let's talk about Joe Gunnerman again. Top Tiger uh, individually shot a total of 232. What do you think about Joe's performance? Well, um, Joe's performance is all right. I mean, it, as a team, it was a pretty disappointing you know, tournament for us. Uh, we expected to do a lot better. Um, the weather was tough. It was you know, tough for everybody, but... Uh, Overall, it was disappointing, and the players are, are probably more disappointed than I am. You had some career best, though, on day two. Ken G shot a uh, 71 on day two. What do you think about that from him uh, being able to pull out a career best that day? Well, uh, Ken played really well on, on the second day, uh, 33 on the front, 38 on the back, 71. I mean, it's a good round. There were only, I don't know, six or seven rounds under par, I believe, in, in the whole tournament. So, so Ken did play well. Um, but you can't just pick out one round. I mean, it's a three-round tournament. They all count. Um, and people did have spots. Ken was one, and others had, had good spots. Um, but you got to do it for three days if it's going to work for you. So in practice, how do you train that? How do you try to get those three good days out of your players? Well, what we've done uh, up till now, and it's had a, a little success, not as much as we'd like to, is we've been uh, doing a lot of practicing on the range, chipping, putting, uh, hitting balls. Um, we're going to go back to basics. We're going to go back to playing golf, where we're not going to be worried about um, how good your swing looks. We're not going to be worried about hitting balls on the range. We're going to play golf and, and try and reinforce that this is a game of scoring. So um, we have five rounds of qualifying before the Navy tournament, which is next week. Uh, we're going to get together with the players, go over um, what they've done in the first three rounds of qualifying, sort of think them through it, uh, explain to them where we think they were strong and where they were not, uh, so that the last two rounds will even be more productive. You mentioned the Navy Spring Tournament right there. That's your next tournament coming up. How are you specifically preparing for that? Do you know anything about the course? Do you have the guys uh, read about or look up tape on the course? How do you prepare for that tournament? Well, most of our players are from the Maryland area, um, and, and the Navy course is, is one that uh, generally hosts the U.S. Junior Amateur Qualifier, so most of these guys have played that, go that course. Um, th there's not a whole lot that you know you, you look up. You've, and, you know, you've played it. That's what it is. Uh, so, so the guys are familiar with it. But again, to how we're preparing uh, strictly is by playing golf and not um, worrying about how good your swing looks. And we're worried about scoring, and that's what our focus is when in practice. Coach, thanks for checking in with us, and good luck coming up. Thank you very much. Hey, Tiger Town! Be a part of the uproar and get your Towson Lacrosse tickets today. Get ready to wear your black and gold and be a part of the excitement as head coach Sean Madlin and the Tigers face off against tough competition at Johnny Unitas Stadium. See the Tigers battle St. Joe's in their senior night on Saturday, April 27th at 7 p.m. in Johnny Unitas Stadium. For tickets, visit TowsonTigers.com or call 1-855-TU-TIGER. Don't miss out.